We're taken into the deepest conditioning mode. The natural world, the natural world is held in that thrall. It's something to think about today when you put your head down on the pillow, isn't it? Where you're actually going, what's actually happening to you. I want to tell you something. No matter what you think about the nature of the dream state, there's something very important to remember. It's to remember who you are when you wake up. It's to remember who you are when you wake up. It's to realize that you have a way, whatever that way may be, the this and that of being this kind of being or that kind of being, the strategy and authority that determines the correctness of your process. Because the moment that you wake up is the moment that the dream state is moving and pushing and working on you in ways that are so deep and subtle because for eight hours you have been conditioned in an unconscious state. You don't think of it that way. Nobody thinks of it that way because they've never seen the mechanics and they don't get it. But it's something for you to grasp. And again, it is about not what you do in your sleep. There are obvious things about sleep, you know, Sacral beings, you know, that sleep is something that should come when they're exhausted and non-sacral beings need to, to rest and need to uh, slowly bring themselves to sleep. It is unhealthy to sleep consistently in another being's aura is just unhealthy. These are things to grasp. But the most important thing is who you are when you wake up in the morning. You know, this is when most human beings forget. It's when most human beings, no matter what their best intentions, are overwhelmed by the power of that conditioning. It's something to be deeply aware of. The dream state, well, not exactly what you expected. But then again, this is something for you really to be aware of. Conditioning is everywhere in this life. And the moment that you are aware, the moment that you're operating as a passenger, I want to tell you something. There's nothing wrong with any of it because it becomes the entertainment. I'm not against dreams. I think they're very entertaining. Why not? Good entertainment. But it's entertainment. It can't be taken for anything else. It can't be allowed to overwhelm your life. That your life has to be defined by your authority in your conscious state. It is the only way, the only way in which you can operate correctly on this plane and get what's yours in the waking state.